soldered a couple of wires onto the motor and I've soldered a couple of wires onto the battery container and I've put a couple of batteries in there. So now we need to connect them up to the connection box. I've bent my paper clip. You can't really see how it's going to work till I put it into the connector block and then you'll understand. Wired it up. So I guess I better just show you what we've got. We've got one wire coming from the batteries goes to just there. The other wire from the battery goes to there. That's a straight through connection, goes round to the motor. From here, instead of going straight through to the motor, we go to one piece of that paper clip, and then the other piece of the paper clip is just there, which goes through to that wire. And the on off switch is push that down and it makes contact. Move it away and it's switched off. So that's a very simple on off switch. Now we need to make the chassis out of the popsicle sticks. I'm using the markings on my cutting board to mark up the popsicle sticks. drill some holes in them. Need to be a loose fit for my barbecue skewers so that there's no friction or limited friction. I've drilled the holes. I'm now hot gluing this um, battery pack in the middle because that can be part of the chassis, help hold it all together. So when that's cooled down, I'll do the other side. I've cut another popsicle stick to give us a cross member that I can hot glue the connectors onto the electrical connecting block. That's the connector block in place. I'll now put another cross member on so that we can glue the motor in place. Before I glue the motor in place, I'll just sort out my little pulley so I need to cut a couple of circles out of the card. That are a bit bigger than that little wheel. So I'll cut those out and glue them in place. That's that little toy wheel sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard. I need to adjust it a little bit when it's cooled down. I've just hot glued it in place. Now we need to sort out the wheels. Now this is quite soft plastic and usually I can just push my barbecue skewer straight through. Also they've got a little dimple in the middle so I know exactly where the middle is. a good tight fit.
that will work. I've got some plastic tubing here that I'm going to cut little short lengths to go between the wheels and the chassis just to give us little spaces so that the wheels don't rub directly against the chassis. So I'll just cut some short lengths. Only cut three at the moment because we're going to need a longer one on this side because it'll be on the inside of there. So it needs to be slightly wider than that bottle cap. Some spacer through the chassis another spacer, the other wheel. So that's what we're going to do. I'll cut this down to the right length and then I can use the other half of it for the back axle. Right, that space is a bit longer because that's going inside there. quite long enough, so I'll do another piece. Now we probably don't need to, but I'm going to put a bit of hot glue around the edge there just to make sure the rubber band can't slip down between the two plastic tops. So I'll let that cool down, then I'll trim the axles and find a rubber band that's going to fit. It would probably have been a better idea to find the rubber band before I glued the motor in place because then you can adjust the position of the motor to get the tension right. I've trimmed the axle. I've got a bag full of rubber bands here. Looks about the right size. like that works. We'll go and try it out. <laughs> 